Today in the joy of editing, I'm excited to introduce you to a relatively new tool in Photoshop that you might not know about yet, Delete and Fill Selection. Despite its recent introduction, this tool has quickly become a go-to for many photo editors because it really helps to speed up your Photoshop workflow. So, get ready to discover something new and valuable in your editing journey. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'm excited to show you this tool, the delete and fill selection in Photoshop. This will be a shorter video today, but I think it's going to be very helpful for you. And if you don't know about this tool yet, you're going to learn about it today and it'll really help you to speed up your workflow. I have this image of some bleeding hearts and I really like this image, but what I don't like is this uh, light circle up in here and this leaf down here doesn't look really good and there's a few other little things in here this little blue area in here I'd like to get rid of but this delete and fill selection will really help out here and I love this tool and you'll see why in a sec now we've had the ability to delete and fill selection for a long time in Photoshop for instance I could take a lasso tool and lasso around this leaf I'd have to come up here to edit and go to fill and then the fill dialog comes up and then we have contents. I can click on the drop down menu and say click on content aware and click OK. And there it is. It fills that up and it does a really good job. But you'll notice I still have my selection here. I still see my marching ants. So just bear that in mind. And now let me show you delete and fill selection. First off, let me do a command or control Z to undo what I've just done here. And I'll go ahead and I'll lasso around this again. And now I'm going to show you delete and fill selection. If you haven't updated Photoshop in a while, you may not have this delete and fill selection feature yet. I'm going to click on Photoshop and click about Photoshop. And as you can see, I'm using Photoshop version 24.3.0. It's been around, I think, for at least maybe the last update. But make sure you download the latest update for Photoshop. So that's important or you won't see this. All you need to do is right click with your mouse on inside the selection that you've made and you're going to find fill stroke content aware fill but you'll find delete and fill selection right below that and check this out all you have to do is click on that and it deletes and fills and it also gets rid of your selection for you you don't have to deselect that was really quick and easy to do you saw all the other steps I had to do to delete and fill that selection, but with delete and fill selection here, it's just one click and it's done. So that's really nice. And then I could come up here to this circle here, and I'm just going to lasso around this whole area like this. And I'll just right click and click on delete and fill selection. And you can see it does a really good job, right? But now I want to show you something else. I'm going to shut this layer off. I went ahead and made a couple copies here. I'm going to turn this layer on. Here's something else you can do, and this is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and lasso around this leaf first. Here's a little thing here. Now, if you hold your shift key down, you can add to your selection. I'm going to remove this, this little blue area down in here. I'm going to see if I can remove that. And let me lasso around this area again. And now I can just right click in any one of these selected areas with my mouse. I'll just right click here and click on delete and fill selection and see if it can do those all at once. And yeah, look at that. One, you know, I lassoed everything, one delete and fill selection and everything is corrected. So that's what I mean by it'll really speed up your workflow. Really nice and we don't see any of the selections left over. Everything is deselected for us. So that is the new delete and fill selection. If you haven't updated Photoshop recently, go ahead and update it. I think you'll be glad if you do that. And I want you to notice I'm working off a of pixel layer. Delete and fill selection will not work off a of blank pixel layer. You need to use an actual pixel layer, so that's important. Hey, let me know in the comments section below what you think of this new feature in Photoshop, delete and fill selection all with one click. I think it's really cool, but I'd like to hear your thoughts on that as well. Before I go, I don't like this area right here, so what I'm going to do is lasso around a bigger portion here. And let me right click in here, and let's try delete and fill selection again. And yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Sometimes you need to try a couple attempts to make it work better, so bear that in mind too. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again.
Well, there it is, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this today. Give Delete and Fill Selection a try. I think it'll really speed up your workflow, and you're going to love it. I guarantee it. If you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, and I will see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing!